Hello, welcome back. This video is about our caravan shower. It was always our intentions from day one to use our own caravan facilities and that includes the caravan shower. Now we've completed six years of touring, we've had around 600 showers between us. You do hear of caravanners and motorhomers not using their onboard showers, but I'll tell you something, I do enjoy my caravan shower. So first, let's go and have a look at the water heating switches. These are the water heating switches. A bit old fashioned I know because of the digital controls these days, but this is what we've got. This is the gas water heating, this is the electric water heating, and this is the electric water heating isolator. When we arrive on site, and once the hot water storage tank, the 10 litre storage tank is full, we turn the isolator on and turn the electric water heating on low. And that stays on low until the end of the holiday. And then when we come to shower, we turn the electric water heater on high and the gas water heater on high. This is dual fuel heating, it heats the water up quicker. And then once we finish showering, we turn the gas water heater off and we turn the electric water heating back to low. We only ever go on fully serviced pitchers. This gives us constant running water and constant drainage. But more about fully serviced pitchers on future videos. Let's have a quick look at the shower. It's never leaked. Never caused us any problems. In fact, it looks like it's never used, despite us having around 600 showers in here. Because at the end of every holiday, is spray it down with cleaner, wipe it and rinse it. And that's probably why it looks like this. One thing to bear in mind is the hot water won't last forever. You've got 10 litres of hot water in the storage tank. We start showering with the mixer tap at midpoint. That's mixing the incoming cold supply. So that's giving you about 20 litres of showering water. And as you're drawing water out of the hot tank, that's constantly being replaced and heated up. So that gives you around 20 litres plus of showering water. So the water is heating up. What we do is listen out for the gas valve clicking. This tells us the water has reached temperature. Obviously, as you're showering, the water temperature will gradually drop. All we do is nudge the mixer tap up to the warm side and that keeps the nice hot water flowing. We wait for the gas valve to click again to say the water is up to temperature. But during the summer months it might take 10 to 15 minutes and during the winter months probably between 15 and 20 minutes because the incoming water is colder. And then in my shower. And then when I've finished I dry the cubicle down. This prevents mould growth. But whilst we're both showering, we keep the bathroom door closed. That contains the condensation within the washroom. I open the window. This airs the bathroom and clears the condensation. During the colder weather, we have the blown air heating on in here. It keeps it nice and warm. And in the six years we've on this caravan, we've never had any damp problems. The towels go on the 90 watt electric towel rail we have here. I'll show you that now. This is the 90 watt electric towel rail. We run the cable under the edge of this carpet so we don't trip up and plug it in to this socket. Towels dry really quickly on this. I know not everybody has room for one of these. We switch it on at the start of the holiday and leave it on right through to the last day because it gives out that little bit of background warmth. In further videos, I'll show you how I fit to the shower light and how I move the electric water heater switch from its original location to its current position. I'll see you then.